Well, it looks like we're not the only ones with this idea to come to. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on RWB, I took you on serendipitous day with me. Mount Dora was the cutest little town, but all the shops and restaurants were really closed. I did find some good French onion soup, but there were no Uber drivers to be had. Kyle to the rescue though, he came and got me. And we met Kyle's parents for lunch. Let's see what's going on this episode. Good morning as Kyle's going up over a speed bump. Kyle's parents are meeting us today and we're going to go eat at what's this place? Fish camp on Lake Eustis. And then we're going to walk around Mount Dora as a family. We got to walk around Mount Dora the other day nice and quiet and relaxing. And we got ice cream. Nothing quiet here. Yep. Let's go. Whoa. What's over here? There's Mimi. And there's Paul Paul with some new glasses on. All right, let's go eat at the fish camp on Lake Eustis. That was pretty good. Yeah. That kale Caesar salad, I know Kyle makes fun of me for it, but it was delicious. And uh, mom and dad got onion rings. Oh, those were pretty. And shrimp and grits. I am a lover of shrimp and grits. If there is shrimp and grits somewhere, Mimi. I'm gonna be ordering it. Mimi. It was so, so good. But the music was playing. Couldn't really do much talking. How was your food? Good. It was good? Yummy? Mm -hmm. Mimi, how was your food? Delicious. Delicioso. What about you, Eli? Too small. It was too small? And then now we're gonna load up this dumpster fire circus and hang out, maybe see what trouble we can. My sunglasses are stuck. Jeez, I wanted to look cool and put my sunglasses on. Anyway, so let's load up in the car and go explore some more. Well, it looks like we're not the only ones with this idea. It was a lot busier than we were down here on Mondays. Freaking people everywhere. Mimi and Paul Paul are driving behind us. Molly and Eli decided to ride with them. So we're just chilling, driving, and then we're gonna go into some cute little shops, cause I love it. All right, let's get parked. We did find a place to park over here. As you can see though, it is like, Packed. I don't know if it's because it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Gorge. I mean, gorge. It is super packed down here, so we may not get to do a whole lot. Now we have to go see where Mimi and Papa went because I don't know where they drove to. We'll find them though. Well, we hooked back up with everybody. They found a parking space, which it is super busy down here. There's not much parking, but I get it because it's a gorgeous day outside. Look at the magic tea market. Ooh, really cool. Studio art farm. Ooh, there's a big shop. Yeah, well, it's also a electric bike. Awesome. I mean, I need to go to a store. You need to go to a store? Yeah, to get money. No, a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. A hundred. All right, lead the way. All right, Kyle wants to go in Piglet's Pantry. It's a doggy treat place. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, we got one thing. Mutter paws or muddy paws. That's cool. The life jackets. All the leashes and collars. Oh, now our friend Eric would love this. Look how cute. Look at these. Little muddy paws treats. Oh, Chica would look so good in that. They even have a nice little cat section. I see a poodle. 
Oh, oh look, can I get this one? I know, it looks like Eloise's hair up there. They've got doggy ice cream and pup cakes and doggy cakes. I took a took a picture and put it on there. That's adorable. I want ice cream doggy. You want doggy ice cream? Yeah. Let's go to the next place. Oh, they got tons of cute purses and shoes. Oh, that is cute. I'm looking for a fanny pack though. Check out these coolers. Are these little bags? Are these not the cutest little bags? Oh my gosh. But guess what I did today? I forgot my phone, which has my debit card on it. So now I have to ask Kyle for things that I want. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, try it on. It's cute. Ooh, it even matches your shirt, babe. There's no way this is cute. This is a way this has gotta be. What is not a women's? It's a 2 x All right, Michael Scott, wearing women's clothing. <laughs> it looks cute, though. I don't see a woman wearing this. It was cute. I can't with you right now. <laughs> you look super sexy, though. You're like little cowboy-esque. Very schooly swarm. Oh. See this one. Red, white, and blue. There you go. There's your hat. All right, let's go find somewhere else. So that store had a little bit of music playing, but I got some new perfume. Oh my gosh, it smells good. And I wish that you could have smell a vision because it smells amazing. But now they meandered into this other store. So that's where we're headed. Ooh, this is the kid's favorite store. Look at all the candy. Ooh, look at this and the bugs. Oh, look at the truffles. Well, can we get a piece of candy because... You want a piece of candy? Yeah. You gotta ask daddy. Look at the ice cream. Play them. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision right now because these smell so good. What do you think, Eli? They smell one good? One smells like Play-Doh. One smells like Play-Doh? Smell it. This one? That one? Sniff it. It does actually smell like Play-Doh. Mmm, a little bit. Mmm, this is awesome. That's neat. So you just use it for shampoo and then conditioner. Huh. That's cool. Of course, these three found the salt and sugar scrubs. Can I use it? No. Oh, look at that consistency. Could it? I'm gonna try that in Okay. What is what is your review? She's shopping, y'all. I did, but you know what? We got some new kind of shampoo. We got some shower bombs. We're gonna be smelling good in the bus. Perfume, shower bombs. We got it all covered. So you're saying you stink, huh? Sometimes we do stink. Yeah. What'd you end up getting? Some coffee mm. and a lemon bar. Lemon bar. Some muffin. I got some boba tea. Oh, good. Are you in heaven right now? Yeah, it's my jam. Getting some white truffle. White truffle olive oil. Mm, but they also have wild rosemary, Tuscan herb, herb state province, basil. Oh, yes. These are amazing. This is so cool. Well, we have shopped. Till we, till, we till we dropped. We got some some goodies in here. Got some soaps. Kyle got some olive oil. Molly's coughing up a storm because we found public restrooms. So now they're gonna go potty, and then we'll hop back in the car. I wanna go. You wanna go? Where you wanna go? I wanna go to Pokemon Cards, but I can't. Well, if we go somewhere that has Pokemon cards. No, it does have Pokemon cards. Why <laughs> would I have Pokemon cards? Oh, we have music in the background, so I don't know if this is going to come out, but we found this awesome place I'm called some Treasure Marts, and some uh, it's pretty cool. Eli's over here doing doing some exercise. <laughs> I won't forget, you know the secrets of the late night breeze. It's all pretend. Don't you worry. got some comic books for the kids. They had Hot Wheels cars. They had a bunch of cool old stuff in there. We like hunting for treasures. Yeah. Ooh, 
no, you did not go into Target with us. I'm sorry. It's just chaos when we go shopping. We also stopped by Aldi to get some things. I am going to get this stuff put away. So I'm going to get this crap put away and I'll pick you up when I get done. All right, so that's the end of a long day. We had a good time though. I'm really, we had a good time with my parents. I think they had a good time. Mount Dora is an adorable little town. Really, really enjoyed it. Highly, highly recommend. Kind of off the beaten path a little bit. You know, it's about, I'd say a little over an hour north of Orlando. Tomorrow we've got a surprise. We're going to be getting up bright and early. We'll be seeing the sunrise and we've got a special treat tomorrow. I think you guys are going to dig it. I know I am. I'm pretty excited. I, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited. And I'm pretty sure you guys will be too once you see what it is. It better be worth it. Maybe I'll even go live or something. Oh, I think that you should. You guys are filming. Yeah, not that you're, not that you're going to see it i mean the old this yeah but yeah thanks guys that's all we got for tonight we're gonna get some rest like i said we gotta be up bright and early and we got a good little drive tomorrow to get there but it's gonna be worth it good night richard palmer was last seen on february the 10th 2022 richard is a hispanic white male 13 years of age brown hair brown eyes four foot nine inches tall and approximately 110 pounds if you have any information to the whereabouts of richard please reach out to the Houston Police Department at 1-713-892-7777. Let's see if we can try to help bring Richard home.